Hello, welcome to season four of the Mark Tarone Show. I want to thank you guys so much. You've been supporting and tweeting me and waiting on this season four to start. So I want to thank you all so much. I want to say sorry for the lighting. Um, I had to do this on short notice. And I kind of left the lighting somewhere else. But things will be better next week, so bear with me. So I want to get things started talking about this 19-year-old girl who got shot in Michigan. Now this 19-year-old girl was black. She was not wearing any hoodie or no hoodie. And basically, and this was in Dearborn, Michigan, and there were Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Basically, she went to go knock on the door, asked for somebody for help, and a guy shot her in the back of the head, and he said that she was an intruder, and didn't have the nerves to dump her body. Now, this is a sick, 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 cruel world that you can't even go knock on somebody's door without even being accused of doing something bad or terrible or horrible whatever it is that they think you be doing it's like terrible that you cannot even do that and the thing is i want to know is how come i had to find out about this on facebook like this story didn't even make um nationwide news which is very surprising to me i don't even know how why it didn't make nationwide nationwide news but hopefully we hear more about this story i will try to keep you guys posted as much as i can um a possible Chloe and Lamar divorce. Now, a lot of us seen this coming a long time ago. Honestly, I didn't think their marriage was going to last this long. My only advice is for Chloe is just don't drag it out like um, like the Kim and Chris Humphrey's divorce. You know, and let's just, y'all should guys just end as friends. Although, I think that it is worth fighting for because it's like you really do love each other, so... I'm going to pray for y'all. That's all I can say. Good luck, um, Chloe and Lamar. Hopefully, he gets over this drug problem that he's been having. Now, I've been away for so long. I didn't even know. Like, I really wasn't keeping up the tabloids nothing when I wasn't doing the show. So, I had no clue about what was going on. So, you know, I'm being nosy and stuff going through my stuff. And I found out that Future and Sierra was engaged. And I didn't even know. I knew nothing about this. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been lost. But Sierra and Future was engaged and she's pregnant. Like, this was like, I'm like, what? I couldn't believe it. I did. I just didn't see Future as... You know what kills me, Future? Is that, um... You are famous for... I hope this camera is right. Um, you are famous for I don't know what reason. Like, really? You can't sing. And I heard you sing live and that was horrible. And... Back to y'all engagement. Anyways, congratulations on y'all guys' um, engagement, Sierra and Future. I just didn't see Sierra as the the the, getting the type to get pregnant. At least right now in her career, I didn't see her as the type to get pregnant. It just was all this. It's, it's unexpected to me. But anyways, congratulations, Sierra and Future, and in the whole engagement and marriage. I hope everything works out for you guys. Um. There's a war between two shows. Well, I don't even know exactly if it's a war. I wouldn't call it a war because, you know, the other show never fired back at the other, at the other show. But, um, Sharon Osbourne. Now, this lady, to me, in my personal opinion, she has a really, really big mouth. I need to learn how to shut up sometimes, in my personal opinion. Like, really, Sharon, you need... How do Ozzy put up with you? Mm. But anyway, she told the ladies of The View and said Barbara Walters to go fuck themselves. Classic, which I really don't know why. But then, this is what um, Barbara Walters had, not Barbara Walters, Sharon Osbourne has said after um, she has said this. She said, I'm not well, I'm just a loose cannon. Really? I mean, you just not realize you were not well since I saw your family on TV for the first time. I knew that none of y'all was well, especially Kelly and whatever color hair that is that she be got that purple lavender whatever anyways i don't know if the other girls on the view accepted apology i will keep you guys posted on this story sharon osborne it's too late for you to go to um what they call it rehab it's too late for you to go to rehab so sharon it's it's time to you know check into the cuckoo house and take a vacation move it along Chris Brown has filed a countersuit against the um, Frank Ocean's cousin, cousin. You know, the whole thing that happened back in January where Frank Ocean and Chris Brown and 
the cousin, whoever got into this big fight outside of a parking spot. And so basically, Chris Brown said that he didn't start the fight. So they trying to, I guess, the cousin is still saying Chris Brown started the fight. But Chris Brown is saying, counter suing, saying that um, Freight Ocean's cousin, I mean, cousin, I don't know if I wrote down the name, but I didn't. But Freight Ocean's cousin started the fight. He said Chris Brown saying he started, they started kicking and punching him first. And what else? Kicking and punching. And they was taking aim at Rihanna. We're talking about Rihanna. Now, what they could say about Rihanna. Because they're actually currently dating at the moment, Chris Brown, Rihanna. So what he was actually saying about Chris Brown, they said about Chris Brown at the moment. No, Rihanna at that moment, I really don't know. But anywho, it's really time for y'all to be big boys. And just just let this go. Honestly, both parties need to let this whole thing go, in my opinion. It's, it's time to grow up. You know, somebody get you have a fight, get your butt with, or you win a fight, whatever. You move on. It's just time to, it's just time to let it go, you guys. Um, okay, so, when I read this story, I said, what? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so, big boy of Outkast, whose real name is, I didn't write down a real name, but anyway, big boy of Outkast, everybody knows who they are, okay? Because there's like, the diamond selling group. Anyway, him and his wife is going through a divorce right now, and the reason why they was going through a divorce, because this is the, well, this is reported by, um, who was the International Business Times? So I'm about to read what you guys said, what it says to you guys. So listen. Um, a member of the hip hop group Outkast is said to have sexually explicit photos of Andre 3000, former, his former bandmate, on his phone. Now, this could be the major reason why, um, the 38 year old musician's wife, Shalita Patton, filed for divorce. Now, here is the crazy part. This is well, this, not crazy, but this is kind of funny to me. Um, her sister, um, his soon-to-be ex-wife's sister, went on to Twitter and said, So you mean to tell me he's gay and has a tiny weird penis? I'm going to need for him to pick a struggle. Which is, which is funny. I'm going to have to use that. You, you, I'm going to need you to pick a struggle. It's a lot of people out here. I'm like, girl, then I ask after you're going to be broke or have a nappy head. Which one? But anywho. This made me think, like, was they, like, was Andre 3, is now, if this is true, if, if this is true, now, this is, you know, coming from his wife's mouth, I guess, but if this is true, you mean to tell me that these two were a secret couple? Because this would sound like that Andre 3000 out in uh, Big Boy was, has been a secret love couple in this whole hip-hop industry this, this whole time, so... I would try to keep you guys posted as much as I can on this story. And by the way, if you follow me on Twitter... Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I will be picking two people to get Twitter shoutouts a week. Their names pop it either at the bottom, the top of the screen, or the bottom of the screen. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at Marta Rowland, or you can add me as a friend on Facebook, which is Marta Rowland, and follow me on Instagram, Marta Rowland. Moving along. Oh, wait, my screen rotating. Okay. I want to get into um, Black Girls Rock. Now, Black Girls Rock, I can, this, honestly, this was my first, I know this is just like the second, is this the second? I think this might be the second year they were doing this show, second or third. Either way, though, this is my first time seeing this show, and I can honestly say I was amazed at this show. Uh, I really wasn't feeling Jan 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 Monet, whatever her name is, performance. Jennifer Hudson, I love your song. It was just I didn't like the way how you just walked off the stage you're in and you're closing, whatever. And Miss Kelly. Everybody knows how much of a huge Kelly Rowling fan I am. So when I've heard the song that she I was like, Oh my gosh, she performed this song, she's doing a battle. So I think she's gonna be singing her singing. But then they show her and they had the cameras I don't you blew me away, Miss Kelly Rowling. So I have to say, Kelly Rowling, you did an amazing job on that on that show. Very amazing. I loved it. Let it see. I did not expect that kind of performance from you, girl. That I loved it. I didn't know you could dance. I didn't know you could move and sing at the same time. I'm really proud of you. And I got a chance to get, and get to know some new people, you know, foundations and stuff that was out there. So overall, it was an amazing show. I love Black Girls Rock. And I think this is something they should keep going on, you know, every year or whatever. Just some, it's something that should keep going on. And us as black people need to start making 
be more more aware of what's out there for us and different organizations that's to help us because it's not it's it's ways out there to get out the ghetto and it's just up to us to find a way it, even necessarily not even saying the ghetto is bad or whatever we just got the situation that you we need to take the initiative to go out there and look and try to spend a horizon and try to find and do better things for our lives that's all i'm saying now the people's choice awards this award show i'm i'm not even gonna bother trying to watch for one i don't even understand why scandal was nominated for a um what was it? Why Scandal wasn't nominated for an award. They have all these shows, which is, I don't know, a bunch of crap shows that I don't even watch. That was never, I really don't even watch TV. Like, a lot of, like, some people ask, somebody asked me why don't I never talk about love and hip hop and stuff like that. It's because I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch love and hip hop at all. So I wouldn't know really anything about love and hip hop. I don't watch it. I don't watch, really watch any reality TV. Sorry. But anyway, back to the People's Choice Awards. It was not a lot of black people nominated for B for People's Choice Awards. And stuff that should have been nominated, it wasn't nominated. Like who Who was what nominated nominated? Like people like Lil Wayne, I don't think Nicki Minaj was. But like Miley Cyrus, things like that. Um Yes, anyway, so I understand why Scandal was nominated. It was it's Scandal to me is an amazing show and it's just, um, it's, it's just, it should have been nominated. So I'm saying, I love Scandal. I don't know why it wasn't nominated. I'm pretty, and the ratings are good, so I don't know why it's nominated. But then here's one thing that puzzled me, though. For daytime, I believe it's daytime talk shows, Wendy Williams wasn't nominated. And I don't even know why, because she should have been nominated for a People's Choice Award, which I don't know why she was nominated, which just kind of upset me, because her show is better than the Steve Harvey show. And... Um, other shows that was nominated. Like, I don't watch The View. I don't watch The Talk. Well, I kind of watch... Yeah. And the other show, Live with Kelly and Michael. I really don't watch that show. But Wendy Williams should have been nominated. Along with Kelly Rowland should have been nominated for a, a People's Choice Award. Now, my hope is that she get nominated for a Grammy. Because if she don't get nominated for a Grammy, I'll be mad. Because a lot of people I've talked to have gave it the album of the year. At least the album of the year nominee. That's all I'm saying. That is an amazing album that nobody really took the time to listen to or, you know, take the time. It's it's an amazing album. If you don't have the album, talk a good game since stores now. Moving along. Lady Gaga is to perform in space in 2015. Lady Gaga. Um, this... When I first heard about this, I was like, are you... Is, is she serious? I mean, is she really serious about this? And she was dead serious. She's going to be performing in, in space in 2015. And she's going to be the first singer to do that. And she's taking her glam squad up there. And she's going to be taking all these vocal lessons. So, Gaga, I just hope that this doesn't turn out to be a complete disaster. Hopefully, you... you good luck, Gaga, on your weird experience. Um... Michelle Williams, If We Had Your Eyes Remix featuring Fantasia. If you don't have it, please go download it. Not illegally. Uh, it's only $1.29. Like Y'all can afford $1.29. So make sure you guys go out and download that single. And let's, let's get it to um, number one, at least on the gospel charts. Okay, you guys? Um, Mariah Carey's new single, The Art of Letting Go, comes out this Monday. So make sure you guys go out and support, you know, once again, it might be $1.29, comes up this Monday, so make sure you guys go check out Mariah Carey's new single, The Art of Letting Go, and her new album should be coming out soon. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this show. Hope next week I'll make sure everything is so much better. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the show, and I will see you guys next week. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Marta Rowland.